Well, electric car company Tesla is recalling thousands of vehicles that are equipped with its full self-driving technology. National correspondent Kat Sandoval explains why safety experts are concerned about the, the feature. Tesla voluntarily recalling over 360,000 vehicles Thursday after the National Highway Traffic and Safety Administration, NHTSA, found the vehicle's full self-driving beta dangerous. Automotive expert Lauren Fix tells me this recall is not surprising. The truth is there really is no full self-driving. They've been selling it as autopilot from day one. But if you talk to NHTSA, National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, they will tell you there is no such thing. The NHTSA report found the self-driving feature may allow the vehicle to act unsafe around intersections, potentially not coming to a complete stop. And Teslas could run through a yellow light instead of proceeding with caution. There are also possible issues in responding to speed limits. Even with some of these great safety features on all vehicles, you cannot rely on the vehicle to make the decisions that you need to make. It's your responsibility responsibility behind the wheel. And this is one thing that they're mandating rather than waiting for Tesla to make the recall. This recall is the biggest action taken yet against the automaker. He's an inventor. He's an entrepreneur. His idea is to get product to market. When he over promises and under delivers, he has to make a correction to that. And the federal government is going to put the hammer down on him. And they're going to be much more aggressive these days than they have been in the past. Tesla disputed some of the NHTSA findings. CEO Elon Musk was quick to comment on Twitter, saying the word recall for an over the air software update is anachronistic and just flat wrong. The company says it will be offering a free software update to fix the issue. Tesla stocks drop 5.69% to $202 at the closing market bell Thursday.